Mark Sexton. I'm with MB MedTech, an information security firm in Reno, Nevada. We help healthcare practitioners stay compliant and keep their information safe. And in that line, I wanted to talk today about a phrase that hopefully none of you will ever hear. Um, if you do hear it, you've got serious problems, and uh, it might be a little too late to do anything about it. The term I'm talking about, or the phrase, is called willful neglect. And it's a term used by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid and the Office of Civil Rights in their enforcement actions on HIPAA compliance. And what willful neglect really means, it's quite simple. It means you knew and you didn't do anything, or you knew and you pretended to do something. Um, the laws governing HIPAA are much like those governing uh, driving. You're expected to know the rules of the road, and if you don't know the speed limit and you get pulled over for a ticket, you have no defense. You're going to get a ticket. Well, that is very similar to the way CMS and the Office of Civil Rights operate in regards to HIPAA. There have been a couple of uh, criminal cases in federal court where the courts have basically upheld the fact that if you work in health care, you're required to know this information. If you didn't know this information, that's your fault. You're obligated to know. So the term willful neglect is really a phrase that says you knew and you did nothing. Uh, I know there's a lot of inertia and a lot of... Um, confusion concerning HIPAA compliance and what it takes and why, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. But the fact of the matter is this, uh, HIPAA uh, has been in effect effectively since 2003. Uh, there have been a series of rule rulemaking uh, changes done and uh, the criminal penalties were substantially increased along with civil penalties uh, under the high tech amendments in 2009. So wh what does that mean to you? It means that if you haven't done anything and you have a breach, some sort of failure, a reportable event, or hopefully this won't happen to any of you. CMS shows up to do a site audit unannounced, which they are now able to do. Uh, if you can't document and prove anything in terms of your HIPAA compliance, policies, procedures, documentation, training, all of these things that are par parts and parcel to HIPAA compliant, compliance, uh, you're in deep water. Um, Whatever the maximum penalties are, um, you'll probably receive them for your violations. Um, CMS has basically said that they have no tolerance for people who don't know the law and will enforce it appropriately. And what that means for you is you can do it now or you can do it later, but you're going to end up doing the compliance piece. If you wait till you're caught in enforcement action or a data breach or something else that exposes the lack of preparation in your organization, in your clinic, you've got serious problems and it's going to probably be very costly. Not to mention the bad publicity. Uh, you will have to probably announce that uh, you're out of compliance. And if it involves a data breach, you're going to assume that liability for the breach because you made no effort to take any measures to prevent the breach. So it's one of those things, you can pay me now, you can pay me later. If you don't do anything, um, nothing might happen. It's like driving without insurance. It's great until you have an accident. But if you do have an accident and you don't have insurance, you've got a big problem. If you haven't done anything in terms of HIPAA compliance, uh, and I'm talking about doing more than just the privacy rule requirements of issuing notices to your patients. Uh, I'm talking about the risk assessment, the risk management process, the audit, the documentation, the training, the policies and procedures that HIPAA requires. If you're going to get hit, you're going to get hit hard. Um, thankfully, there are firms like mine that are out there to help you with this. If you have not done anything concerning your HIPAA compliance, I strongly urge you to find someone to help you with it and get started. Even the fact that you have acknowledged it and you're starting the process will make you look better in the eyes of the Office of Civil Rights and CMS than if you hadn't done anything or you pretended to do something. Um, the rubber will meet the road at some point. Um, inevitably, there will be a breach or an issue or a reportable event that will cast light on your either preparedness or your lack of preparedness when it comes to HIPAA. So, just remember, they're out there, they're looking, the penalties are going up, and you can't afford to be one of those people caught in those penalties. That's all I have for you today. Hope that helps. I'll be talking to you, just talking to you later about uh, policies and procedures that are required under HIPAA. Have a great day. Thanks.